Now paired with 30 year old Leachi as they look to tune up ahead of their task in Tokyo. So underway in the K2 women's 500 final. Can anyone upset the Olympic Austrian boat? Well, Chen and So finishing sixth and ninth individually in the K1 200 final. Desperately trying to hold on to the Austrians' coattails. Already an early advantage for the Austrian pairing. Very calm and collected, quickly into their stride. Well, just keeping it nice and tight. And just slowly but surely pulling away, although strong, showing on the outside from Argentina, Sweden, just clinging to the back of the boat. There is the lineup, Austria, Argentina, Mexico, Sweden at the moment, missing out on the podium. Ramahino driving a brilliant performance from Argentina. The 40-year-old looking to try and drive the duo. It looks like it's going to be a tough ass to outdo the Austrians. But a medal could very much be on the mark. Sweden with surely too much to do, as it looks like being two South Americans on the podium. But it will be, as expected, Austria gold. A third gold of the weekend for Victoria Schwartz. A second for the Austrian pairing. Tuned perfectly ahead of the Olympics in Tokyo this summer. Congratulations, a, a good day for Austria today. Uh, Anna, we haven't spoken to you yet. Good yeah, it was, it was an okay race. Um, I think we did uh, some good races here in Russia. It's good for us to have some races, um, even if it's nationals or World Cups or anything. We are just happy to be racing again after the pandemic. And I'm very proud of Vicky winning the K1 200. She did an amazing job. I was very nervous more, more than if I'm racing myself. So. I'm very happy with how we can. And you know, you look like a boat that's going to Tokyo today. Yeah. Uh, it must feel really good paddling knowing you're already going. Yeah, it's it's a release when I see the girls racing the K1500 and the K1200 here. I was thinking, I don't want to be in that situation right now. It's so much stress and so much pressure on them. And there are so less quotas for so amazing many athletes. and. It's a shame, actually. There should be more athletes going and kayaking. Well, yeah. You're going, and that's the main thing. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I did mention that Jennifer Egan had made similar uh, observations. 
It's always tough in terms of the amounts that can go to Olympics, particularly during this pandemic. But every sport always wants more, and there's those sports looking from the outside in. But on the water, they actually